Do you have paper clutter like this laying around? What is the category? Contacts. A place you want to visit with the family, a business you want to support or hire, some people that you met, a random person's phone number. Where does it live? I see this category flying all around my clients' homes often. I have two solutions. The first is a physical solution. It gets everything together in one area. So if you recognize what is a contact, all you have to do is save that information in one space. Pick a container, a folder, a bin, a basket, a drawer. That's where all your contacts live. Get them in one place to start. Having all your contacts in one place to start might be fine for you, but if you wanna take it to the next level, open up that phone, go into your contacts and start adding them in. Use the notes section to describe who it was, where you met them. Here's an example of what I just did today. We had the name and number of an electrician guy who came and fixed our broken power line down our driveway. I'm not gonna remember his name and number. I put him in my phone, in my contacts, and tried to use as many keywords as I could. Electrician, power, this address here, the road we live on, the date, the year. Yay, now I can throw away that piece of paper. In the future, I can type in electrician or power supply or whatever and find that guy in my contacts if I need him. Bonus tip, if that business card has a memorable photo, picture, or logo, you can snap a picture of it and put it in your contacts photo. I'm sure there's plenty other ways to organize your contacts, maybe even some more advanced digital things. Share below and let us know. Happy organizing.